We're following breaking news out of Plantation, Florida, where 20 people have been hospitalized after a gas explosion at a shopping center. Two of them are in critical condition. Polo Sandoval is following developments for us. Polo, what are you learning? Uh, west of the city of Fort Lauderdale. They're in Plantation, Florida, offering an update a short while ago. They say that they are confident that all people have been accounted for and anybody needing any kind of medical assistance is getting that right now, which totals at least 20 people who were taken to area hospitals there in Florida with at least two of them in serious conditions. That number could potentially change according to the deputy fire chief who says that people uh, left the scene and now are essentially coming back uh, to have some of their wounds taken care of, which uh, in essence are black debris injuries as, as uh, authorities described it. Uh, what uh, we do know as far as a potential cause here is that they did identify a gas rupture once firefighters arrived on scene. Now whether or not it was uh, caused by the blast or an actual uh, the cause or actually what what uh, what caused all of this uh, that is still yet to be determined we do know that a nearby business was closed and that could potentially could potentially have played a role in limiting uh, the injuries here what happens next engineers will be arriving at that uh, commercial area that will be surveying some of the nearby businesses to see if they are structurally sound and could be occupied but of course it goes without saying uh, that the building that was directly affected which you see there and and the neighboring uh, uh, Jim there was uh, heavily damaged and in some cases they're even destroyed here so uh, do expect this part of town to be closed for quite some some time here but again authorities now trying to pinpoint a cause they initially suspected a gas leak explosion but now are saying that they really do want to take a closer look at the area there before they can definitively say whether or not that gas leak was uh, caused by the blast or uh, if it was really th the reason for this blast. But as you can see here, authorities did search the debris here. There were initial reports that there were people trapped. But again, as of uh, the latest update offered just moments ago by authorities there in Plantation, everybody seems to have been accounted for. Fred. All right, Polo Sandoval, we'll check back with you. Thank you so much. On the line with me right now, Joel Gordon, Battalion Chief of the uh, Plantation Fire Department. Uh, I know you got your hands full, but I'm wondering if you can tell me, you know, of these 20 that were injured, uh, were they all in one concentrated area? What can you tell me about their relationship to the injuries and the place of explosion? All right, at this point, it's difficult to tell exactly where all the patients were. Uh, when we arrived, uh, there was a significant amount of debris over quite a large area, uh, and the patients were actually scattered over that large area. Um, as well as that, um, we uh, as well as that, we also have um, we also had patients that had wandered away and came back again. Uh, so we don't we can't really tell exactly where they were. What I can tell you is we had two. Uh, that were serious. One was a trauma, pa a serious trauma patient taken to the trauma center. Uh, a second patient was taken to the trauma center, and the rest were transported locally. Hmm. So, so when we look at the images and we see this, you know, clearly this flattened area, uh, perhaps that is, you know, the, the, the centerpiece of, of where the explosion took place, right outside of the LA Fitness. There, can can you tell us about, you know, your initial observations about this gas explosion? Is this a a, a store or structure um, that was up and running? Is it before business hours? What? All right. At, at this point, we have not actually confirmed that it, that it is an explosion due to gas. Hmm. Um, we, we believe that. That's what it appears to be, but we have not yet confirmed that. Um, what we have here is we've got a, a, a strip mall situation where there's actually two separate malls that are, are that are um, perpendicular to each other. Mm -hmm. The LA Fitness is in the mall, is in the strip that runs across the west side of the mall, and the the other buildings run up the east side. Uh, I'm sorry, up the north side of the mall, uh, and they kind of meet in the corner. Uh, the explosion appears to have happened in that corner somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a um, there is an um, a closed piece of place right on the corner, but we haven't confirmed that it originated from there yet either. Okay, so when you say explosion then, um, what would be the variation of sources of an explosion of this caliber? Um, at this point, it, it could be any one of a number of things. I'm not even going to try and speculate. Uh, we do have the state fire marshal on scene. Uh, ATF and Broward Sheriff's Bomb Unit is also here, so everybody's investigating. 
Um, we did we did have active gas leaks when we arrived. Whether that was the origination of the problem or it came afterwards, we're not sure. Okay. So at this point, I really can't confirm. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. And then this LA Fitness, just uh, are you able to kind of zero in on what time this explosion took place? You think LA Fitness, you know, and a Saturday morning, people could be, you know, working out or going there or occupying that space as early as maybe 6 a.m. or something. Can you tell us about when this happened? Well, it, we got the call at just about 11.30, actually 11.28. Um, the LA Fitness was occupied mm -hmm. at that time. Um, not sure which of the other stores were occupied or how many people were in them. So as far as where the patients came from, uh, difficult to tell right now. Mm -hmm. uh, no fires or anything like that when you arrived. Strictly, you had to cut off gas, but can you tell us anything more, more about your observations when you arrived? So when, when we arrived, we had, a, we had a significant amount of debris. Um, we had multiple patients that were spread over a large area. Uh, the, uh, it was actually difficult to access because the, the access road into the mall was covered in debris. Um, but we did, it, it was quite a large perimeter. We started searching the perimeter initially. Uh, the hazardous materials unit from Broward County was able to get in and temporarily secure the gas. Uh, following that, then uh, the, the gas company, Chico, uh, Tampa Electric um, Company came and they secured it through the, for the entire area. Uh, we were able to uh, secure the patients, move them to an area where we could treat them and triage them. Uh, the critical ones were transported off scene immediately. Uh, then we had the, the local search and rescue teams come in. Uh, they searched the perimeter. Uh, there was nobody in the, the adjacent stores and then we went into the collapse zone where we uh, searched that area, and at this point, we have not found anybody else inside. 